Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Today I'm going to be going over a new service that just came out today, and that is Google Drive. Google Drive is uh, basically an online cloud storage. Um, Google's had online storages for a long time, but they've always been specific. So Google Docs allows you to save one gig of, uh, you know, all your Word, PowerPoint, Excel files. Um, uh, Picasa had, I think, two gigs of storage. Google Music has 20,000 songs, no matter what their storage size. So Google's had a lot of cloud services. They basically were the originator of the cloud services. Google Drive, though, is taking it to the next step. Google Drive allows you to put whatever kind of file you want on an online storage, and you can also share those files with anyone you wish. So, the really nice thing about that is that they can be seen on any uh, PC, Mac, or Android device, and they have said that um, Apple will eventually get it in terms of their iPhone and iPad. So, um, right now, uh, Google Drive is really nice and it has a lot of nice features. And basically, when you first go onto the site, you're going to download uh, it, and then it'll be on the bottom right then, as you see this little icon right over here. And when you have that, you'll actually be able to automatically sync any folder, like My Documents, if you want to, and sync any folders you want under Preferences. And you have your certain storage size. As you can see, I haven't had much storage on there yet. But I'll show you guys uh, what it'll look like once you have it. So a couple of things. First off, you have the ability to store anything you want on the folder. So I put a shortcut of it uh, directly on my desktop and basically as soon as I go into it I can actually store whatever I want on there and it will automatically sync with the online cloud storage. And when I say, when I mean whatever you want, I really do mean whatever you want. So on my current drive I have um, movies, I have photos, I have uh, everything I'm going to need for my business trip coming up uh, so in terms of PDFs, Word documents, Excel documents, PowerPoint presentations, I also have um, APK files, uh, which for those of you who don't know, APK files are um, the file type for your Android apps. So I could basically side load what is called side loading. Uh, I can install Android apps. Uh, basically, I can just download it to my Android device and then automatically install it there. And let me zoom in more for you guys, just so you guys can see it more clearly. And so you can see, it's it's really nice to be able to do whatever kind of file storage you want. So it's really kind of good all around. Um, and basically, as soon as you get on any devices, you can just go to that file, and then load it, and then play it. So it's really nice, especially the fact that you can share it with people, so everyone can share it together. Now, the other thing I wanted to share with you is, you know, um, cost. So, cost-wise you get five gigs automatically for free. So that's the main thing to note is you have five gigs for free. Um, so it's really nice for that purpose. Ah, there goes all the things I was talking about. So Picasso, you have one gig. Um, the storage itself, you have five gigs on Google Drive and you have 10 gigs on Gmail um, without needing to pay anything else. However, um, if you pay for it, the prices are actually really affordable. I myself am going to upgrade to the first one, which is your storage is 25 gigs for $2.50 per month. So if you um, basically add that up, it's not too much. It's not going to be that much in terms of uh, how much you're paying for that much storage. And the fact that you can have 25 gigs, personally, I don't feel you need more than that. But if you're a power user and you want to use 100 gigs, I mean, you know, feel free to pay five dollars a month and so on and so forth. I mean, you can even go terabytes up to 16 terabytes. Although 16 terabytes, you're probably a business, I'm guessing. I would hope so. I don't know any one person that has 16 terabytes. I mean, that's pretty impressive if you are, but you know, all power to you. Um, other than that, I mean, the average person will generally fit fine within that 25 gig for two dollars and fifty cents a month, which again is just really good overall. I mean, since you're talking about very little storage for that long. I mean, it's just a really nice way of 
having it and always having it on the go. So in terms of how does the app look, well if you have upgraded so far your um, your Google Docs, you already might have seen it on your Android device. So let me show it to you now. And I'm gonna zoom out. And for those of you that might ask, yes, my TV is my my TV is my laptop or my computer. So in terms of the drive, let me show it to you guys. Zoom in on that for you. So that's what the icon looks like, and that is called Google Drive. And I'll log into it right now. Oops. And it's just asking you, of course, do you accept it? Yes, I do. And then, you know, it's just letting you know that Google Docs have now become a uh, drive. And you, then you can click My Drive. You can, of course, share it with people. And you can also pin any of these uh, folders or uh, documents directly to your device. And to see an idea, I'll do a video file. This one might take a little bit of time just because it is a video file. So obviously it has to... It's a little bit longer to download to it, but just to give it a... Actually, it's not doing that bad. Okay. And, again, this is a video that I have on my... Oop. Of course, I would want to change that. I have auto-rotation off. And so you can see what the video looked like. And it's just that quick. Even for a video, it loads pretty quick. So, that's how Google Drive works, and you can share this with your friends, you know, if I wanted to share this with uh, someone else that has a Gmail account, I can share it with them. So it's just really nice, it's a great way of sharing all of your files, personal files. Say if you wanted to share, you know, the family photos with someone else, it's a really nice way of doing that. And you can allow access for them to add their own folder, or to just see your folder. So it's really nice. If you guys have any other questions, definitely feel free to ask. Once again, this has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.